and the tax hikes trying to fix it. Now we're learning the state's no longer making algebra a requirement for eighth graders. Celia Bigelow says bad timing. The state already has a problem doing math if it thinks these tax hikes are going to add up. Dee Dee Benke and Adam Lashinsky are back as well. Celia. Isn't this, don't you just love the hypocrisy in this? Politicians in California can't even apply simple math principles to balance the budget, and now they're trying to dumb down the math system in California. To be honest, if I was a smart family or uh, business in California, I'd be taking up Rick Perry's offer and moving to Texas where there's lower taxes and a better school system. Let's talk to Adam Lashinsky. He's in the state of California. Adam, what'd you make of this move? Well, it uh, sort of amuses me the way we can try to make any conversation we have about anything having to do with the fact that taxes are bad. This topic has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with taxes. The educators in the state of California have a problem. Uh, students are not doing well in their algebra classes, and they have found that they are not ready for algebra. So they're following some national standards that suggest that it might be better for students to wait. But Adam, when, I think they, this when, is horrible. when will any student, I, when will any student be rather, ready for algebra? Go ahead. Yeah, I would, I would rather that every student in California have algebra in, in the eighth grade. That obviously is the goal, and so the uh, answer is to try to get them prepared better, but this just isn't a tax issue. You can try to make it a tax uh, issue. It funny. You can talk so about humorless Rick today. Perry in Texas. <laughs> You're so humorless but that's not today, what we're Didi. talking about. Oh, come on. We're just, all right. It was a funny, but, you know, it flew over your head. But, Didi, what do you make of this movie? Well, I thought it was funny, Celia, but actually the issue is that these teachers are not getting the job done. And in eighth grade, you've got to take algebra because guess what? If you want to go to school, you've got to take the PSAT. You've got to take the SAT. Guess but what? I'm saying that ready uh, well of course they're not ready because they don't know algebra and for the SAT hello half of the SAT is math and a big part of its algebra you have to know algebra to be able to get in college so the minority students or some of these folks who are in schools who are not doing as well they have a huge disservice I feel sorry for them then they are the ones because they won't be able to get the tutors they won't be able to get the special help they're the ones that are going to fall behind it's not fair to them Celia to uh, uh, Celia to Didi's point uh, is the state of California doing a disservice to its students by not forcing them to take algebra Algebra, just knuckle down and do it because of the SATs and because of their future careers. Go ahead. Yes, absolutely. And it's not just that either. I mean, President Obama always preaches about how we need to be competitive uh, across the globe in science and math. And by not requiring algebra, which is not that hard, it's not, we're not going to be competitive globally. We should be working towards even higher mathematic levels like calculus and trigonometry if we are going to be, compete nationally with other nations. So, Adam, you mentioned national standards allowing this to happen. What are you referring to? The, 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 the educators in California are adhering to a new national standard that, that, suggests, that it's, suggests that where there are problems with students learning algebra, where their success rates have been low, that, that it is acceptable to delay when they take it. I didn't make up the standard. Uh, I, I, and again, to be clear, I think we're all in agreement that it would be better for students to have algebra in the eighth grade to get them prepared for college. We're all in agreement on that. The only question is what's the right way to go about doing it? Well, certainly not well, in areas where they're not able to perform and they're doing badly. That's where they need more of a focus. You need to double down and say, hey, let's help these kids in math and algebra, not take it away. I mean, that's not fair to the kids. No. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. It's, it's uh, backwards. Right. Go, go ahead, Celia. Well, I was going to say, this is exactly why conservatives need to pay closer attention to local races such as school board. And this is what we preach here at AMA, is that we can't ignore these local elections because look, what, look at what happens when liberals infiltrate states like this. It becomes a disaster economically and in the school system. Adam, to Celia's point, isn't the problem at the school board level across the country? We've got bureaucrats with very fancy cars, very splashy, you know, benefits that they get, and they're just not really that interested in what's going on at the student level. Go ahead. I actually have teachers in my family who say this. I've got teachers from my grandmother. My mother was a teacher, my sister, my nieces. They're all saying this. Go ahead. 
Well, be that as it may, you're still making ad hominem attacks against unnamed all right, individuals. All right, let me, let me just stop that, you, Adam. That, 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 it's a, Adam, that is it's not, not a serious policy conversation. conversation. All right, let's, let's stop it, Yes, Adam. it is. No, when you talk Didi, about fancy cars, that has nothing Adam, to do with Adam, policy. Adam, please, it's not an yes, ad hominem attack. There are facts. You're just name-calling. What name-calling? What Liberals are doing this. This isn't a serious conversation. You're just calling people names. If you do not have children take algebra, that's basic math. They are doing it in other countries. No one said you don't want students. Students taking algebra, you're twisting no, what they're, you're you twisting what, what the they're doing. Is, teacher, many of the teachers' unions are worried about the upper crust, and I believe that that, you know, and as far as like the administrative part, let's take about the kids that are in school. They don't have algebra in eighth grade. Are you kidding me? That is a basic. Basic need. Didn't Clint say, say that they aren't going to have algebra in the, the eighth grade. They're aren't said able that it's it no done. longer that means they going need to be more a attention. They need more attention, and the teachers need to work hard and make sure and get them there instead of taking away algebra, a so, basic need. All right, let me just be clear here. Let me back up. As the anchor, I think uh, Adam is saying he doesn't like the use of the word liberal as an ad hominem attack. Is that I'm right? Sorry. Uh, Don't no, be sorry, no, Celia. So what? I mean, if you didn't like it, he doesn't like it. You know, I mean, but it's just not no, happening. It's say not working. He's just grumpy today. All right. Well, Celia, you know what? Maybe. Celia, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, um, I think if we're going to compete globally, like I said, and uh, California is predominantly Democrat, so if they're going to follow what President Obama says that we need to compete globally, then we definitely need to keep algebra, which isn't that hard, on the books. Celia, you get the final word. Go ahead. Uh, Dee Dee? Oh, Dee Dee, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Uh, well, no, actually, I think it is a liberal uh, policy because basically what you're doing is lowering the bar and you're making it equal for everyone. You're not raising the standards. You're just making it equalizing, and that's a, a liberal way of thinking. So, well, sorry, you know, Celia's right. Again. Thank you for an impassioned debate, and thank you, Adam Lashinsky, for holding up that end of it. Really appreciate your input there.